Welcome everybody to AH to the Garage. In this video, I'm just going to give you guys a quick breakdown of the GMC Hurricane V2 here behind me. Just kind of go through everything that I'm currently working on, all the uh, all the mods, things that I'm bringing over from the original GMC Hurricane into this one, the V2. So yeah, just get right into it. So it's a 2009 Chevy HHR panel SS. Uh, they only made 216 of them in 2009. And of those 216 of them, they made 50 of them with the G85 option. The G85 option was a five-speed manual transmission, limited slip diff, uh, dual GMPP seats in the front, um, an RPD gauge on the dash, Brembo brakes in the front, um, just an all-around highly desirable vehicle. They only made 216 of them. I happened to get a hold of one. One thing led to another. Here I am transferring most of my mods from the GMC Hurricane V1 into this one, the V2. So starting here at the back, we'll just jump right into it. So starting here at the back of the car, um, you can see I've brought the hatch over from the original GMC Hurricane, which is an HHR hatch that I shaved the license plate on that was right there centered. And then I also custom built the bigger spoiler. Um, this is my second spoiler. The first one cracked on my way back from Tail of the Dragon. So here I'm doing 99 Cadillac DeVille tail lights. I shaved the stock tail lights already and added these. The rear crash bar comes off and I have a custom trailer hitch that gets mounted underneath, which then supports my diffuser. That will all be added back onto the car. And then I have a roll pan that goes on as well that's just barely flush with the rear hatch. Now I am planning on wide bodying, wide bodying this thing. So as that process is going, you can kind of see I've got the fronts going already. The rears are going to be quite the process. Um, come to find out, this is going to be testing a lot of my abilities here. So basically, you can see I've done a cardboard template. This shape is literally getting cut out of the side, out of the, side of the car. Um, and then from underneath, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but where the stock body line is, stop pinch weld, um, I'm going to be cutting that and basically taking this whole section out, which is kind of the opposite of this trailer fender there. So that comes out of here, and then I'm going to be installing this trailer fender to take place of it, bringing it out two inches. So then this new fender will be this line, this seam will be two inches out from, from here. I'm gonna have to cut into the doors a little bit, just slightly in the rear door. Um, but again, I'm gonna do it. We're gonna we're gonna get this done. I do plan on having vents on the side and in the rear to kind of give it like a like a rough Porsche look. You know, you can see that the door, the fenders are already exaggerated. So with them brought out two inches, and my plan is to keep this line here, but just angle it up. So again, two inches further out, this is angled up. It's just going to highly exaggerate the fenders. As you can see, the front is already two inches wider. So moving along, the doors will be getting uh, this sheet metal here, which will then again be widening it out a little bit, but then I'm going to be creating some form of vent through there that you'll be able to see the tire. So then that way, these doors will be modified as well. The rear quarters will be modified, hatch is modified, and we can't forget about the roof. So this is a panoramic glass roof out of a Mini Cooper that I'm gonna be cutting and putting into the roof of this car. As you can see, it's about two and a half times the size of the original sunroof. That's the original sunroof. That's roughly the new one. So it's gonna be pretty cool. I needed a roof that was as flat as could be with as very little curve. 
and the Mini Cooper is it. So the HHR roof is very flat. Front doors are shaved. So I did Pontiac Grand Am GT mirrors, but I'm not really too happy with that. They kind of have like a drooping look. Um, but I do think I'm gonna need something other than a stock mirror. Um, I'm thinking maybe like a Camaro mirror maybe, and then just like attach it into here somewhere. I'm not sure, not exactly sure. Um, and then I, I'm doing running boards, base model LT running boards instead of the SS side skirts to kind of give it a little bit of the throwback look. Um, again, bringing out the horizontal line with, with the sidestep there as opposed to the SS side skirt that's kind of rounded and and just not the same shape. I almost prefer the side steps. So moving into the front fenders, you can see that I've got them widened two inches here. This is exactly two inches. It's the exact same on the other side. So it's gonna make this a pretty easy process. So you're probably asking why I have this taped off. So my plan is to, to make a filler panel to go in here, but then to have at least three vents that are gonna go clear through. I don't know that I like the idea of just keeping it open, but we'll see. Either way, it's gonna have some form of fin or divider going through there. So here you can see that it's basically just, I mean, it's nothing crazy. I literally just sandwiched two fenders together and kept the body line the exact same, making sure that this line here lined up to the doors it does door still opens so. um, and then just got it welded down in here and then over in here as well so and then this here I'll do some form of vent clear through the top you know clean this edge up because I kept this line like this edge that I cut off of this fender so I can always take this, which is like the top line of the headlight. Because I have that sheet metal, which I might just add back into this to kind of help create that vent. But nevertheless, there's that. I have this bumper that I'm gonna be cutting up. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna be doing with it, but. Anyways, I have that too. And then there's the hood, my grill. GMC Hurricane grill that I made came off the of V1. So the cowl came off of like a 2003 GMC Denali. Very common cowl hood that you see on a lot of that body style GM trucks. Basically just cut the cowl out, cut a flat line at the front, shaped it to the HHR hood. And I mean, it's almost like it belongs on here. completely cut the hood out so it's fully fully functional I'll end up cleaning this up a little bit more as well and cleaning up the engine bay tucking as much of these wires as possible probably doing some paint in here um, shaving as much of the firewall as possible just cleaning a lot of it up similar to what I did in the original hurricane I will be doing mini tubs in the front fenders as well, as well as obviously cutting out that inner fender from there. All right, so yeah, basically from here, you can see it's a pretty wild build. I'm gonna have a full interior in the car. Um, it's pretty much, it's completely gutted right now, just filled with a bunch of interior panels and um, So I'm taking the original cradle from the GMC Hurricane with the bagged, you know, front control arms and everything, the, the solid bushings that I had in there. That LNF motor with the polished valve cover, polished intake manifold. I'm putting a Borger Warner S252 Turbo on it that is also polished. I'm doing the Buick F46 speed uh, transmission swap, which is gonna be awesome. Uh, it's gonna have full audio video in the car, backup camera obviously and uh, LED brake light in the rear diffuser. Brom seats, I got a new set of Brom seats from my sponsor, shout out to Brom Racing. 
Um, I will be running uh, the Inovia Elders on the car. I'm doing a 5x114 hub swap um, on the car to run the Inovia Elders. Shout out to Inovia for the wheels. Um, and actually, when I when I originally planned on doing the hub swap, the wide body wasn't in the plans. And when Inovia first sponsored me, they weren't making three-piece wheels yet. Now I'm doing a wide body. Now they make three-piece wheels. So I might have to see about buying a set of the three-piece wheels for the car. Um, but yeah, super excited about the car. I have no deadlines. I was really hoping to have it done this coming summer for the River Valley Road Rally again. Uh, I missed last year because I had taken the car apart and figured it wasn't a good idea to run it again without reverse, which was all part of the plan taking the cradle out. Needed to take that transmission out, didn't it reverse? The cradle in this car originally only had another additional, I think, 4,000 miles over the other one. Had a perfectly good working transmission and reverse gear, so I just swapped the entire cradle. Um, and being that I didn't have reverse and I'm switching to an F40, it just simply made sense to, to swap the cradles and, and put that one in here and take the transmission apart. All of my other miscellaneous parts are all in storage just waiting to get pulled out and get the car put back together. So I'll be doing, you know, the full interior. I'm going to I'm going to obviously have to redo a new headliner uh, to incorporate the Mini Cooper headliner as well, but be doing new harness bars as well. I was going to do a full cage, but I want to keep the car like totally drivable, you know, when I want to if I want to throw my kids in there, I I want to be able to throw my kids in there and not have to worry about, you know, taking airbags out of the car. So instead of doing a full cage, I'm just going to do a new set of harness bars like I had on the V1. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the build and follow along. If you guys have any questions or comments, please throw them in down there in the, uh, the section below. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification button, do all that good stuff. Share this with your friends. Tell your mother. Um, you know, I appreciate all the support. Again. GMC Hurricane V2, youtube.com forward slash at AH did it. AH did it, you know, at HHR underscore SS, pretty much anywhere you go.